epilepsy warning again. Honestly, these happen so often, I wonder how often games come up that don't have them. <laughs> Even the ones that don't have a whole splash screen usually show up as like a... Isn't it like usually in the manual or something? If things still have manuals, I suppose. Anyway, welcome to Stories Untold, a thing that definitely immediately evokes the same nostalgic visual design and logoing that you think of when you think of like uh, Stranger Things and whatnot. I don't know much about it, because I've the first thing I heard about it was about how important it is to not know anything about it, so... Here it is. <laughs> I think it's a game where you play four different games, and then it's over. And then maybe you feel things along the way, maybe it evokes things, who knows. I've uh, been on my to-do list for a while, finally getting around to it, because I need, conveniently, a game to be about maybe two and a half hours long. <laughs> for reasons we'll get to when I get to the credits. <laughs> We're starting off with the house abandon. Isn't that a pleasant sound? <laughs> I really keep going back and playing these games that evoke a faux nostalgia that is completely alien to me. Which is interesting, because in a weird sort of way, it's like going into a fantasy setting or a sci-fi setting. Because the main thing that I associate with these kinds of aesthetics is actually that kind of cyberpunk or the alien universe type stuff, like retro sci-fi. It's like I, there's something inherently fantastical about this kind of presentation because I don't doesn't mean anything to me. These wooden televisions and this display, <laughs> just in general. The house abandoned by no code. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's, an ide it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Okay. How do I... S do I hit enter to wait? No. Okay. Look around. It's a nice clean car and not much to see. But there is a glove box. Check glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son! Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Okay, so now we sort of have instructions then. So I need to fire up the generator and check something in the that's in the attic. Oh great, the attic. Also, this is very small on the screen. Can't get any closer, can I? Nope. This is what the game looks like. Alright. Press enter to continue. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park your car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Yeah, that's what we did before. Let's, uh, get out of car. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Okay. Walk to side of house. 
I don't know what you're trying to say. Go to yard. You take a walk around the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Think of memories? Nope. Worth a shot. Go to front door. You walk back around to the front of the house. The house is grand. Yep. Unlock front door. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark, and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Flip switch, even though it won't work. Use light switch. A clack and nothing. There's no power. The note should say how to restore it. Let's read the note again. Did it say where the actual... Haha, <laughs> go outside. Too dark inside to read. I'm gonna double check the note real quick. To see if it said anything about where the generator was. Well, my goal is apparently to go to the attic. Can you... Alright. Right, it's out back. Go. Go. Gotta wait for the text readouts to happen before I can enter anything. Go to backyard. Take a wa walk around to the yard. The yard's been well maintained. Find generator. Look around. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Go to generator. You're standing next to the generator. Turn on gen... Generator. You switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. Okay, that worked. Let's try going... Uh, go to front door. Now enter house. And use light switch. You flick the switch and lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Okay. Uh, our goal is the attic, but maybe I should look around. Let's uh, go to kitchen. It's just a kitchen. Look around. Oh, it's, the kitchen is tidily and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise, it's just a kitchen. It's very clean and tidy. Not to be used. In, not been used in a while. Uh, check. Fridge. No. Uh, go to utility room. Utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Unlock utility room. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Use key on utility room. He doesn't fit. I kind of figured. Go to hallway. Wonder why they have so many different keys for the same house. Okay, let's go to living room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. Spent a lot of good time here, playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Look around. There's nothing here of interest. Okay. Go to hallway. Let's get to that attic then, and find out what's probably going to stop me from getting there or something. Then I'll have a better idea of what, I'm, what to look for. Go upstairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Look at pictures. Family photos and holiday snaps. Our happy family. 
Go to bathroom. You're in the bathroom. There's not much of note, but it's still in good order. Look around. Bathroom is clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. Look in mirror. It's your reflection. Looking good. Admire self for like five hours. I'm sorry, I don't understand. You never will. Uh, leave bathroom. Go. Go to sister's bedroom. Walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had been, had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Let's see. Look at posters. Posters of all her favorite pop stars mixed in with some of her own art. Art, she's pretty good. Look at trophies. She won a lot of trophies for dance and gymnastics. Talented girl. Look at toys. Every soft toy she ever owned. So, stuffed animals. Um, heroes, art. It's really it. Yeah. Uh, leave bedroom. Go to my bedroom. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift-wrapped box. Open box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad found your old computer. A future 128K plus two. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Okay. Uh, set up... Oh. Your old bedroom. So many good memories here. On your desk is a Futuro... Futuro 128K plus two. Or... Yeah, plus two. Computer and a uh, copy of The House Abandoned. It's all still to be set up though. So in the game is a computer that has the game. Is that how... Am I playing on a Futuro right now? I am playing on a Futuro 128K. I can see it on the keyboard just barely. So I'm, so I'm playing on the computer right now that I'm finding in the game. Uh, set up Futuro 128K plus two. Set up computer. That's what I get for trying to be smart about it and typing in the actual name. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here, too. Play game. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Oh god, what's gonna happen? It actually made me jump. <laughs> You... ought something get out or something? That was hard to read. Shit. <laughs> Time for things to get weird. Can I click on anything around here? Like... Nope. Nope, this is happening. Okay, you pull up the driveway. Ah, you pull up to the driveway of the family ho holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember to be told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Huh. That's... Wasn't it nice before? Check... Glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, "Get out! Get 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 out the car! Get out the car! Get out the car! Get out the car!" Uh. Okay. As the note says, "Uh, get." 
Let's do caps lock. Get out the car. You force the warped car door open and fall out. What? Even the car's messed up. The house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Great. Look around. The lights are off. Windows are broken. There is the front door in the yard. Go to backyard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown. The weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. What a great time. Okay, um... Look around. There is no generator next to you. Turn on generator. Ah! Uh, that's unnerving how that just happened. <laughs> I turned on the generator and the light turned on in the room. So I'm affecting the room that I'm currently in. So am I going to go to the attic? Is that where I am right now? Oh, the pictures are all crossed out now. Their eyes are all messed up. Okay, go to front door. This is going to be a great time. Un... What a happy place. Alright, so we don't know what time it is anymore, which is the really the biggest tragedy here. Unlock door. The clink of the click of the lock hurts to hear. Even the sound of unlocking the door hurts. Open door. You reluctantly step inside the front door. I just heard myself enter the house. What the fuck? I don't like this anymore. <laughs> I don't like how the sounds are happening. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell, stale air, and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Read note. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Use light switch. Afraid what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stain. Ah. Ah. Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in the house. This can't be. Ah. How do I... Stop. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Turn off alarm clock. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You are still... What the fuck? <laughs> you are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone's in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent, and stairs leading up. The note re feels disgusting in your hands. Read... Read note. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. <laughs> Go to... Kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal. There is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall, and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Okay. Look at... Red X. There's a red X on the door. You assume it's paint. Yeah, it must be paint. It feels like... It feels like the note. Ah, but the note's bleeding. Great. Oh, maybe they just meant the ink was bleeding. That's better than being a wound in my hands. Um... Open utility room door. Door's locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Go to living room. Leave room. Go. You step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. You're still in the hallway. The noise is stopped. You feel the presence. Now it says 9999 up there. 9999. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Worth a check. Um, go to living room. The living room. Although hardly in an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and warm and worn. The note is fixed in your hand. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Oh, great. Thanks, game. Happy times are happening. Red fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Great. Read note. 
Does the note change? The note always changing now reads, get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Great. And I should probably check in different places then. Check furniture. Look at furniture. I think I misspelled it the first time. The furniture looks disgusting. There is no way you would sit on it. Leave room. Go. Why am I even here? <laughs> Leave house. <laughs> Go home. Go to... Kitchen. I just want to skip options so bad. <laughs> just because there's a... Lots of time spent. What? I'm sorry, I missed that last time. Or I didn't think about it properly. Read writing on a wall. Just unlocked an achievement called 1986. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Read note. Paper now feels like fabric. It's covered in blood. You can just make out the words. There's nothing to... There's nothing for you here. Oh, great. It says 1986 written on the wall. Maybe it's a code? Let's get back into the hallway. And then go upstairs, yay! Go upstairs. You head up the stairs, they creak. Same, but different. The landing has access to your sister, sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall. Ah! Behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand, neither can he. Pick up phone. You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Keep listening. You can't hear yourself think. It's too much. R read note. You can't hear yourself think. Nope, not happening. Hang up. Phone. Relief. Same, but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures all over the walls. Something feels... something's different about them. Look at pictures. Pictures are of your family. The eyes have been... Scored out on all. Read note. The note's now clean again, simply reading get in and get out. Go... Right, I have to wait. Differ.ent. Differ.ent 1986. <laughs> what if that actually did something? Go to bathroom. You enter the bathroom. Mistake. You're dead. <laughs> the bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Look around. A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Look in mirror. You can't bear to look at yourself. Great. Thanks. Read note. No, it's impossible to read due to the black oil that now covers it. Oh, great. Leave... Leave room, then, please. I wonder if leave works... ...on its own. You step back into the landing. Go... I'm not impatient, you're impatient. <laughs> Go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Attack door. <laughs> Go to my room. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. 1986. Enter 1986 into lock. Use lock. You grab the lock. 
Lock is rusted. Not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy. The note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. 1986. The lock clicks open. Same, but different. Enter my room. The door is closed. Open my room's door. You open the bedroom door. That's creepy. Started off wondering why the screen's shaped like this, and sure is obvious now, because all the stuff happening outside the screen is definitely going on here. Look around. Landing is barren worn. Right, we haven't actually entered yet. Enter my room. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Read note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. Uh-oh. That's also not good news. There's nothing left to do. I'm cons I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. End it? You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. Leave house. Oh, please stop. Turn off computer. It was all my fault. Say it. Close door. Just say it. Burgle up, burgle up, burgle. No, we're not escaping it. It was my fault. It's all my fault. It's all your fault. I forgot the exact phrasing now. Uh, it was my fault. It is my fault? I am at fault. It's... It's my fault. Say it. Just say it. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know what the... What was the exact terminology they said? Now I'm, like, trapped. Uh-oh. That's what I get for trying to escape it. I did it. It's all my fault. S say what? Can't do anything, can I? Shit, I don't... <laughs> ah! I didn't know, I, I didn't think I could get trapped like this. It was all my fault. Finally. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, that happened. Three more games to go. So I... This will be four days. Four games. Rather perfectly chosen for these purposes. And uh, then we'll be picking up we should, we should be playing, uh, I believe, Divinity Original Sin 2. Four-person co-op thing is planned. And so that's why I needed a game that's exactly the length I need to bridge the gap until then. So, tomorrow we'll play The Lab Conduct, and so on. See you then.